This is only his second ever Super 1000. He's hit the headlines by reaching the final of the US Open where he lost out to Tanaka of Japan in three games. And then the final last week, you see from the left-hander. Well, I've only seen a couple of uh, highlight clips myself, to be honest, because, as you say, he's such a newcomer on the scene. Um, but it's just a kind of testament how, you know, he's 26 years old. And, uh, Discussing with uh, Steen Pedersen hey, the other day, and like he and subscribe has channel. this theory that, you know, 24, 25, even the 26-year-old, that's a good smash directly at the body. Many badminton tournaments, their rankings weren't high enough and therefore they couldn't get into the tournament. So they've had to start again after the pandemic. Of um, it tends to be a little bit earlier, um, perhaps just the disparity between the kind of physical changes that, that happen, you know, kind of an 18... I got very excited about his run through in Hong Kong last week. But medal, of course, we should mention that he is one of the three different winners of the... And just his fluency around the court, his speed to the shuttle, and then his control once he arrives there. Thank you for that, Jonathan. That proved my point wonderfully. Good morning. Oh, my goodness. Mistake. Oh. Like this, um, really short action. And then from the back, because it is flying so fast, he'll be using his power. Yeah. Um, and so. Very windy conditions as we are here in Changzhou. Is that an ideal tactic around the whole of like his end of the channel? Court, whereas his opponent will be playing very much more. It's going to be in a very good attacking position, so it's really, really a game of chess when there's a wind like this. Yeah. You're shutting down some areas, you're you're giving a little in others, and it could turn into kind of a box game like this. We've already seen a few good body smashes. That's a lovely game. Wow. Ah. So Eight-six. Opening game. Yeah. Oh, that's longer than that line, and that's quite a higher, punchier lift. Moved Jonathan Christie all the way to the back, um, and kind of opened up the front of his court. I think he would have won. Brilliant defence. Well, the first three days, especially in the doubles disciplines. Just going to make this another block again from the left hander. Jonathan Christie. That's a wonderful net shot. Gold medalist Li Shi Fun in the final. That's another one too hard and too little of how much you uh, pace you put on the shuttle. And then all of a sudden, you know, if you're playing with a drift, how easy it is, is it to open uh, perfect conditions? That's a lovely angle. Hey, baby. Like and subscribe channel. Yeah, good rally. Great rally. Oh. Right, but with yes. only two points in it. Yeah.
and I think for singles players, playing against the drift is much easier. Maybe not always the case in doubles. Oh, hesitation there as well. directly on the floor yet. No, that's true. Which is a testament to Christie's defense, of course, but there's not been any clear, clean winners from Leilang Zee as yet. Oh, that's good judgment too. Oh, that's why. Lift to the back from Christie. Oh, it's a crucial. Opportunities. Absolutely. It's kind of a little dare. It's like I yes. dare you to lift it. Nice block. Oh, that's just wide. What a shame. That was a great move. One point advantage and two points away from the opening game. Jonathan Christie. Oh, another good body smash. Oh, my goodness. Oh, hesitation again. Is that not going wide? Possibly. Oh, that's seriously loose. About the drop shot. They've got in reserves. Of course, we should remember that Leilan Shi against last year's champion, Victor Axelson, dropped the opening game and came back to win. Whoa. Left-handed male badminton players. That's all. Well, Chong Wei. Chong Wei. Chong Wei's not left-handed. Momota. Momota, of course. And before that, Lindan. Lindan, yeah, of course. This is the issue. This is authority with 21-18, and now I think he'll have more freedom in his shots. Yes. Ooh. Yeah. Well done. Of where the shuttle's coming. Absolutely. I think it's a loose style helps with that too. It just, um, you're not, you know, it's down by the ankles, <laughs> quite frankly. Yeah. Um, it works for some people, it's not exactly textbook. It's a uh, held back left shoulder in his defensive position rather than it being perfectly out in front of them. Here, we had two uh, finals, consecutive finals. The first years, two years that the China Super 1000 staged here in Chengdu. That's a beautiful block. It was... Hey, babe. Like and subscribe channel. Oh, that's a good clear. Oh, and work an opening before you start going for the winner. Doubles is much more about trying to force uh, a weak reply without so much manoeuvring. Very basic, I know. Do you know, that absolutely revolutionised the way that I, when I occasionally must play doubles, that...
miles away from a second consecutive semi-final here at the Victor China Open. One part of your game starts to go wrong and you sort of feel, even though he's played the, the net quite brilliantly in the opening game, you feel... Absolutely, it can, that definitely can happen. Um, yes, either that or you... Oh my goodness! Advantage. I think having one, one set, one game under his belt and uh, onto the more forgiving side I think he's not a good person. Really closing down the net, applying pressure to the body, but being present forward, and forcing Lei Langzi to go hard or go to the back. Possible, it's not probable, but then you never know, do you? Lovely. Yeah. his 